Hi, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to make video with Midjourney. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, let's get right into it. Now in today's video, we will be showing you the way on how you will be able to generate simple videos with Midjourney. Now keep in mind, its video making is not that great and Midjourney is more focused on static images like this one over here. As you can see in their showcase over here, most of them are or all of them are focused on static images like this one over here that focuses on different styles, different way of showing it and all of those stuff. But there is a way to be able to create videos with Midjourney. And that's what I'm going to teach you guys today. Now for the video making of Midjourney, it is not available for the version 4, 5, and 5.1. It cannot do or it cannot be used for those versions that are higher than version 3. We will be able to use version 3 to generate our videos. So what I'm going to teach you is to make sure that you won't be making mistakes like having issues with the prompt. So what you're going to do first is going to do slash settings and click on enter. By doing this, you will be able to see your personal settings or the settings that will be available just for you. And as you can see here, you can see the different versions of Midjourney. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 5.1 and the roll mode. Now, when you select a specific version, as you can see here on the suffix, it will automatically add this to any of your prompts. Now, you could use this trick to any of your prompting experience, not just with creating a video. But for today's video, we will be focusing on how you can create your own small video with Midjourney. Now we're going to select Midjourney version 3 so that it will automatically add the version 3 to our prompts and so that we won't be having any issues. We're going to leave our style to medium for now so that our suffixes won't be mixed up over here. It won't add additional suffixes and we're going to settle with this one over here. Now you can explore this settings over here on your own and use it to make your other prompts more easier to use as you can see here i've been using it on this prompt over here and this images over here but those are four static images and we're going to focus on videos now to use or to create a video what you're simply going to do is the same thing you're going to type in slash imagine and we're going to use the imagine prompt and we're going to type in a simple prompt you're not going to create a super complicated prompt like a person biking through the road stuff like that you can't use those uh, types of prompt because it's going to be too complicated for me journey to use so we're going to go with a very simple one for example a tree growing and just like that and then what you're going to do is you're going to type dash dash video and click on enter and as you can see here we're going to wait if my journey will accept it and as you can see my journey has accepted our video prompt over here and we're simply going to wait for it to start now this is one of the ways that we could use my journey to create a video now, you could also create a video by simply using static images, but you're going to like use some video editing to make it feel like it's actually moving. You could use it to produce like, for example, a photo of a house, and then you could zoom in slowly with your video editing, and then you could put in another image, for example, the inside of a house, stuff like that. You could be creative with how you could use Midjourney to create a video, but you won't be able to create a super smooth and like fully motion video using Midjourney because because Midjourney is like I said earlier in the video they are more focused on static images and like creating designs over here so we're going to show you as you can see here it's currently creating our uh, photo over here it's not going to give you the video right away it's first going to show you a photo as you can see here and keep in mind our prop is tree growing it might not be the best it might not give us what we exactly wanted because we are using the version 3 which is relatively low compared to version 5 and version 4 over here but we're going to see how it will be able to produce and now this is our result over here now as you notice it's not really a video it's not a video that we are asking it to produce so what you're going to do is of course select the specific photo first and for me i really like the version 3 and version 4 I'm going to upscale the version 3 and version 4 first that's what we're first going to do upscale the version 4 and i'm going to teach you how you can turn this into a video we're first going to wait for it to up, be upscaled first though. So that's what we're going to do first. We're going to wait for it. And while waiting, we could think of another topic we could try it later on. Maybe like water droplet. So we're going to try water droplet in our next uh, trial over here. As you can see, this is our upscaled version of the third or fourth 
third photo over here and this is our fourth photo over here now we're simply going to wait for it to finish and we're going to ask mid journey to produce our video by simply giving you a trick on how you could do that so we're going to wait we are currently on 50 percent reaching to 60 percent and we're going to give it some time it takes a while now almost done I think it's taking longer than usual because this is indeed a lower version like a version 3. It's taking longer, way longer than the versions of version 4, 5, and 5.1 because usually when I'm upscaling versions that are version 5.1 or version 5, it's like a few seconds stops and this is taking a few more than a few seconds longer. So we're going to wait. This is almost done and we're simply going to wait for it to give us the final version of the upscaled version. And just like that, we have this finished version over here and this version over here. Now what you're going to do to be able to receive the video version is you're going to click on the reaction over here. And you're going to search for the emoji, which is envelope. And as you can see, this is the envelope we are looking for. You're simply going to press this and it will react to this photo over here with an envelope. And as you can see, we have received a personal message or a direct message from the Mid Journey bot. And it will send us this link over here. We could also see the seed and like the job ID. And we're going to click on our video. Click on yep. And we will be able to see like a video of it as you can see here. It's not the best video as you can see. It's more on like a GIF or like I don't know what you can explain this for. But this is a video produced by Mid Journey. And as you can see, you could play it over and over. It's like from the blurry version to the most clear version over here. Maybe that's why it took a little longer earlier. Now we could do the same thing for the other version. We're going to go back to our server over here. And this time we're going to react to this one. Click on add reaction. Click on envelope. And we're going to wait for a bit journey once again. As you can see, just received it over here. And now we could play it over here or actually play it over here. I didn't see this one earlier. So we're going to play this. And as you can see, it's like a mini GIF of how progressive the animation is. It's not animation, on how progressive the quality gets better and better. And that's how you can produce or use Mid Journey to produce a video. It's technically not a motion video or like a video of something moving, but you could see that it is a produced video over here by using the prompt dash dash video. Now we're going to try that out once again. This time we're going to go with water. Let's see if it will make some improvements compared to this 3 version over here. And do imagine. Now keep in mind, you can't do complicated prompts. You should just, you should just stick with the very simple prompts like simple, simple droplet of water, stuff like that. Then do space, dash dash, and video. Click on enter. And we're simply going to wait for it once again to produce our photos before the video. And it's not going to be the best. Uh, like I said earlier, the video or like in the middle of the video. Mid Journey cannot produce amazing videos, only produce like static images like this one. And if you are creative enough, if you are able to use video editing well, you could simply, you know, download and create different photos over here and like connect them piece by piece, by piece in your video making or video editor and give the illusion that it is actually moving or it is a video being created and using Mid Journey. But for us, we're going to the direct approach wherein we are asking Midjourney to produce our video directly for us. So we're going to wait for it once again and we're going to upscale, do the same thing we did with the trees over here. And ask Midjourney to send us a video. Now for this one, we're going to go with the fourth one. We're going to focus on the fourth one over here. And it's going to take a while to upscale this just like what happened earlier because it is trying to make it into a video. So it's going to take a while. And the quality isn't that great compared to the new versions because keep in mind, it is the version 3. It's a lower version of Mid Journey and it is like the versions of its early stages. So it's not going to be the best. So we're going to wait for it. And we're simply going to wait for it to finish upscaling. It's going to take a while, as you can see, 13%. And actually, it has a lot of details, to be honest, even though it's version 3. There's a lot of details over here. You could see that or you could notice that it is like a painting being produced. As you can see, there's a lot of details even though it's a lower version. But like I said, we're going to produce a video. We're going to focus on the video produced and not the static images. So we're going to give this some time. Right now it is 60%. So we're just going to 
skip through until it is finished. And as you can see, it has fully upscaled our photo over here. This is like a very detailed photo. And what we're going to do is we're going to do the reaction once again. Click on envelope. And as you can see, it is over here. Then we're going to wait. And just like that, we have our private message from Midjourney. And this is our photo over here or like a video. And it's like a video from start to finish of how Midjourney creates our photo over here. And that's it guys. That's how you can use Midjourney to create a video. And hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.